What's going on guys, Rob A here, and today we're going to be doing a LEGO build video. Uh, this one is going to be on the LEGO Star Wars set number 75101, First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Uh, this set has 517 pieces and four minifigs, and my friends at Entertainment Earth were kind enough to actually send this over to me to build for you guys, so I am super excited about that. For those of you that don't know, Entertainment Earth sells all kinds of stuff, including Star Wars, Nerf, Transformers. It's where I generally get most of my Transformers stuff. Um, I've only had awesome experiences there, so totally check them out. There'll be a link below in the description. Uh, but for now, let's get this puppy going here. So, as you can see, it is the first order TIE fighter from The Force Awakens. <clears throat> you get four minifigs in here, you get a First Order Officer, First Order Crew, and two First Order TIE Fighter Pilots. Checking out the back, you can see you've got many opening hatches uh, for all of the pilots and things to, uh, to get in and out of the vehicle, as well as some spring-loaded missiles, which actually, on this set, kind of look like they belong, which is actually really cool. Uh, you got a couple of specs here on the back as well as just kind of an action shot of the, uh, you know, all the figures kind of hanging around the uh, TIE Fighter itself. So, without further ado, let's crack this guy open. I've actually pre-cut the tape here. We're just going to check out the bags and things like that. It is a large box. I do apologize. It's having a hard time fitting all in my camera at once. There we go. <clears throat> And here's something I have noticed that's actually really, really cool. Um, there you go, let's tighten that up a little bit. There we go. Uh, is that a lot of times now in these, I, I guess like mid-size sets, uh, the instructions are in fact coming packaged in these little, uh, you know, baggies so as not to get too jacked up uh, in transit. Uh, you can see we've got a sticker sheet here, very small, which is always a plus. And then we have, looks like, one, two, three, four numbered bags. There we go. Two. Very nice printed bits here as well. Three. And four. Very, very cool. I am super excited about this, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start building. I'm going to actually take this over to a larger table <laughs> where you can actually see what's going on. So I will meet you guys over there right now.
Alright guys, so here it is, the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Super, super cool, and I have to say, first of all, this model is like dead solid. This thing is put together like a brick, and not only that, it looks really, really nice. Um, as you can see, it gets the, uh, you know, gets the overall shape of the TIE Fighter down really nicely. These wings, like, the way they built the wings is just awesome. I mean, it's simple building just using plates mostly, uh, but the way that it's done just comes across really, really solidly built and really well done. As you can see, you do get a bunch of printed uh, canopy pieces, and these all open up to uh, allow your TIE Fighter pilots inside here. If I had one kind of, uh, you know, maybe nitpick about it is that, uh, well, aside from being a little, a little tough to get this guy in here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Maybe I'll, oh, so let me show off the minifigs really quickly here. So here's the first order TIE fighter pilot. You can see he's got the molded air tube in his helmet and they've just they're both the same they've just got this angry face underneath very nice printing of course and they each come with a little blaster and uh, hopefully we can get this guy in here uh, my only nitpick really is about the this back end here maybe i'm doing this wrong i probably have to do this watch watch this be easy Boop. Yep, there you go. Super easy. I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, so anyway, my nitpick about is basically on the back of this vehicle. Uh, there's just these gaps under here uh, because they had to allow room for the, you know, for your fingers to get in there for these uh, flick fire missiles. Not a big deal. Again, it's at the back of the model. Uh, but if you're looking at, you know, if you just happen to display your your uh, Lego sets upside down like this, people will notice that there's, you know, a little gap in the bottom here. But otherwise, I think it looks really, really nice. you got this on the top here. I'm not sure, is this a blaster? I really don't remember this all that well, if, if, it's, in the, if it's in the films. But you've got this guy up here. If it's an antenna, I'm assuming it's some sort of blaster of some kind. It really, it seems like that would make sense. <laughs> and around the front, of course, you got the same. you got this nice printed canopy up on top. You also have another printed piece so they went all out with the printing on this set very little stickers and they said you only have four stickers total two of them are used on just this piece right here to just kind of blend in with the rest of the red which i love the use of the bricks uh to make the red pattern on the uh you know the side of the first order tie fighter so let's put our other pilot in here 
I'm going to do it right the first time. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. And it closes right up. And you've got these two flick fire missiles, which the bricks, the, the flick fire brick, like, you know, the, the gun mechanism itself sticks out a little bit just because of the, the, the coloration. It'd really be nice if they made them in different colors. Um, but, you know, I get it. Whatever. Uh, but the, the missiles themselves really don't subtract anything from the set because these little bulb thingies are, you know, usual, typical on TIE Fighters. So I think it looks great. Uh, the way they did this whole ring to kind of go around here and look like, you know, it's kind of a, a brace for the wings looks fantastic. And the fact that you can eject the wings if you really, you know, if you really want to, it's, it might there, there you go. So you can, you know, fire the wings off. Um, if you so desire, they're just clipped on, but they're done so in a way that they're not going to fall off. They don't even flop. This thing's not even, you know, I mean, you can, you can wiggle it around. This is an absolutely phenomenal set. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised, very pleased with it overall. Um, and I think they get, they get the TIE Fighter, man. And the only other two stickers are right here on the, on the wings themselves. Just the little, little symbol there. But other than that, really well done. You get two other figures. You get an Imperial officer or a First Order officer. I'm sorry, I keep keep wanting to call him Imperial. Uh, you get it. You know why. <clears throat> and of course, crew with this lovely helmet. Very basic printing pattern and a very basic head underneath. But you got the uh, cool looking helmet as well. So there you go. You get an extra missile, and even better because they use the um, on the wings. They use actually the little roller skate pieces. Uh, you do get a couple of extra roller skates, so you can even give your uh, your first order officer some little roller skates, and he can you know cruise around the hangar. Um, <clears throat> I I love that there are four minifigs in this set. I think that's awesome. I think I would have been happier if maybe they did away with the crew here um, and maybe gave us a Finn minifig in this set. Uh, you know, just... I, I, there's only, you know, there's only a few ways to get a Finn minifigure, and they're all pretty expensive. Um, so just one with the TIE Fighter, I mean, it would be relevant. And it would be awesome. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that, but it's really not that big a deal. Again, uh, just something I would have liked to see. And, uh, you know, maybe some place on... Well, it's a Lego set. There's just places for stuff to attach. But anyway. So, yeah. Really, really nice set overall. Um, it looked like it was going to be a good set. And I, I had seen photos and stuff of it uh, beforehand. And I, I kind of thought it was going to be cool. So, you know, I had high expectations. And it, it definitely lived up to them, so that's really awesome. Uh, so big thanks again to Entertainment Earth for sending me this set to uh, to review and build for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the build. I know the the video is a little bit a little bit uh, uh, matrixy in places. Um, my camera is just unfortunately not set up for long term recording like that, so as I had to had to make some adjustments. Uh, but I, I do apologize. I hope it I hope it came out okay. It looks looks okay so far. Um, but again, big thanks to Entertainment Earth. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And you guys watching, if you want to buy any of these, you know, Star Wars Lego sets, any Lego sets, Nerf Transformers. Again, they sell everything, everything. <laughs> You want Link's sword from uh, Legend of Zelda? Go, go to Entertainment Earth. I'll have a link in the description below, and you can go there and check them out. Please do. Uh, please just go around, look around, and, and see if you see something you like. Uh, and, yeah. So, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Once again, Joe, go check out Entertainment Earth, and uh, just give them a hey. Tell them, tell them I sent you by. So, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you again, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.